We're talking an awful lot right now about women coming forward, and it was very, very important. But I just want to be very clear that if there's anybody in our party or anybody in the Hill or anybody in constituency offices who are experiencing this issue right now, I want them to know they can come to me and they have um, an open door. Because if we have a lapse in communication such that in Ontario we didn't have people coming forward until they felt comfortable talking to somebody, a member of the press, then I'm not doing what I need to do as a leader to help with that. So I want them to know that they can come forward to me. That's really important. Uh, let's see what happens in Ontario. They have a big process that they are going to have to go through. Um, obviously, I'm an Ontarian, and I know that Ontarians want change in government. And it's very important that we ensure that we put forward a Conservative Party that can be trusted by the Ontario public. Because, simply put, we've lost trust in the Wynn government as it is. So I'm going to be um, I'm going to be watching as a voter in Ontario exactly what caucus is deciding tomorrow. With respect to the allegations, I, I made it clear in a statement that uh, those allegations were very heinous. Uh, there's a, a nature of employer-employee relationship that was called into question. And despite the fact there are allegations, they're serious enough that it was not appropriate for him to continue. And that's what I, that's what I said in my statement. This is not a partisan issue. I mean, it, if anything arises, um, we have to be courageous enough to realize that it could happen in any party. And we need to be able to look inwards and see how can we make our culture, uh, our parties, our workplaces as um, open, as respectful, as safe as possible. And that's something that is not limited to any one party. And, and I, I hope it doesn't happen. But if, it, if it, anything arises, we have to be prepared to deal with it as a party, and we will.